are you? I hope you are fine and good at your home. Today we will talk about numbers. Okay. So do you know how many numbers are there in our English grammar? Yes. There are two types of numbers. Number one that is singular number and number two that is plural number. Yes, you all are right. So, singular number deals with one. Singular means one in number. But plural means more than one. Okay. So, singular deals with one and plural deals with many or more than one. Means two, three, four, whatever it can be. Suppose I am telling one example that bar B I R D bar okay it is singular number yes very good means bar means only one bar but if I will tell you that bars with addition of S that is B I R D S so it means plural so bar means more than one it can be two to many in numbers. Yes, very good. So, according to your book, when a naming word tells us about one person, one animal, or place, or thing, we say it is singular. And what is plural? When a naming word tells us about two or more, people, animals, places or things, it is plural. So, I have given already one example. Suppose bird, birds, flower, flowers, doll, dolls, frog, frogs. Okay. These all are the example of with the addition of S. But there are another some example with uh, singular and sing, uh, from changing to singular from singular to plural we can say another example by adding es ok the words that are ended with s double s x and ch sh they will be after addition of es they can make from singular to plural how it is I am explaining with one example. Suppose I am telling box. I am telling box. So what is the spelling? B O X. So the last letter is X. So I have told earlier that if one word that is ended with X. So how can we change from singular to plural? Yes. By adding E S. So what is the spelling of plural of box? That is boxes b o x e s like that next glass g l a double s so last in the last of the word there is double s so it can be changed by adding e s glass glasses g l a double s e s very good fox last letter same that is x so it will be also e s foxes Brush, B R U S H. The last letters are S H. So the plural will be brushes. E S. Watch, watches. Dish, dishes. Like that. Okay. So we have done two types of changes. One S and another one is E S. Another example is there. There is where the where the word is ended with Y. Where the word is ended with Y. We can change them from singular to plural. By instead of Y. We adding. We will add I E S. Suppose lady. L A D Y. So what will be the plural form? That is ladies. Instead of Y. We will put it I E S. Suppose baby. There will be the same. That is 
babies yes city cities the spelling will be the same c i t i e s like that okay very good another one if the word is uh, ended with uh, suppose if okay what is the spelling suppose l e a f leaf so what will be the change now instead of f we will put v e s so what will be the changing form that leaves leaf leaves l e a v e s leaves calf calves c a l v e s knives knives k n i v e s okay so these are the example of changing from f to v e s okay but except from all of these there are another example that can be changed totally what are they like i am telling tooth t double t h so what will be the plural form teeth t double t h why because in the middle portion in the middle portion of the spelling tooth there are two same vowels that double o there are two same vowels that's why in the plural form the change has been done okay like that foot f double t foot fit f double t okay goose g double a s e goose kiss g double e s e okay so these are the examples of changing with the vowel okay but there are another some words that changed totally means like child sorry child c h i l d child so what will be the plural form children okay c h i l d children r e n children okay the, there are some another word also like ox o x ox so what will be the plural form o x e n okay so today we have done from changing changing from single